Welcome to our course loss function and in this part of our course we are going to have cross entropy loss or what we call the negative log likelihood. So let's first have the basic concept about loss function. What is a loss function? It evaluates how a certain algorithm models the data. So it means we would like here to model the real phenomenon. What is really happening in the real world, we would like our model to perform that reality. So we have some evaluation metrics to understand that. These evaluation metrics may depend on what kind of model we are using or what kind of algorithm we are using for the model. It could be regression and it could be classification. So when the deviation is high, we mean to say that the loss function is large too. And our target here is that we would like to minimize the error in as much as possible. So that means the deviation should be lesser and lesser. And in some cases, if not in most cases, we would like to reduce the error in our prediction. And that's why in this case, we would like to have this optimization function performed. So in our future lessons, we're going to have these different optimization functions. So let's have the cross entropy loss formula. So we have this formula to compute for the cross entropy loss. And one thing that we have to remember is this formula may have some changes. It depends on whether or not we're going to have the binary classification or we have the multi-class classification. So one thing that we have to take note of about this formula is that when the actual label is 1, for example, 1, then we could say that this second formula disappears. So when it is zero, when the actual label is zero, then the first half is dropped off. Or so we would not be using this one too. The value of the loss increases when the predicted probability diverges from the actual label. So that means the farther the point from the actual label, the loss is also getting higher. What we do here is just we multiply the log of the actual predicted probability for the ground truth class. The goal here is to minimize the probability of the negative class. And that's why the basic idea of this kind of loss function is to give a high penalty for wrong probability or for wrong predictions. And we give a very low penalty for correct classification. So that means because, for example, our model is performing well, then that means that we are very much confident that the model is predicting very much well. And so because it does so in making better predictions than the penalty or there is less penalty it incurs. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.